What we're doing is preparing to remove the invasives from the property, and in order to do that, we have to knock down some of the dead stuff so that people don't get poked in the eye or poked in the shoulder, so that they, and so they have space to work in. And on the upper end of the site, people are beginning to actually remove the knotweed that's beginning to pop up through the ground. So we're getting into what we want to do. It's an attempt to simply steward this property, the whole property. It's about 175 acres, Kanacha Farm is. And it contains all of the what you see here, um, plus woodland and marshland, um, some, some high fields, etc., some beautiful trees, a lot of vistas over both to the, the beach and to, uh, to the Petaquamska Cove. The, the property is not being managed in any particular way. There's a trail through it for people to walk through, for people to see it, but it's not being managed. And a lot of it is coming back from abandoned farm fields 20, 50, 100 years ago and growing back into the native woodland. Much of the woodland has been invaded recently by non-native plants. And so one of the main projects of management on this property, we feel, is to manage those non-native plants and allow the native plants to, to come back and have a native woodland. This is a, a picture of, of what we are looking for. Uh, native growth, the cattails, um, some clethra, which is summer sweet, and uh, elderberry here, and the view beyond. And this is the kind of view that we expect to ha be able to have after all the native plants grow back. Right, you've got these vines that grow around everything, and they're not native to the area. <laughs> so. Trying to leave this tree, whatever kind of tree it is, and get rid of all the vines that are around it. And we're making progress. The project is uh, an attempt to manage non native plants. The non native plants have come in here and invaded because they're colonizers. They take over, they push out the native plants, and then they become a nuisance. They, um, they are really not very pretty. They have a tendency to grow into areas that are uh, that are managed, such as grassy areas, etc. And they basically choke the environment. And what's happening with these plants? It's hurting our biodiversity. I mean, the time could come when we have none of our native plants left. They almost fell in twice. Initially, we need a great deal of effort to remove the plants that are have invaded, um, but as we proceed to continue to remove them, what happens is the native plants will come up and replace them. They're plants that have come in general from England, although there's also Eurasian honeysuckle, I think, that's here, but they've been brought in by people who thought the plants were beautiful and they wanted to have them around their yard, not realizing that they have no natural enemies and they've really thrived here. They, they leaf out before any of the other plants do. You can identify many invasives by that fact that they, they come out before the native plants do. Basically, what we're gonna to have to do is dig them out. A little here, a little there. As we proceed to continue to remove them, what happens is the native plants will come up and replace them. So after three or four years, we just simply have to be vigilant about uh, new non-native plants that come in and keep them out. What's difficult to get out is the knotweed and the phragmites. The phragmites are those bushy plants that are around the edge. Um, it's going to take a lot of diligence to combat those two plants. The knotweed is particularly bad. If you look around, it's getting into everywhere in Narragansett. It's just tough to get rid of. So we need volunteers, volunteers that care enough about Kanacha Farm 
to put the time into it. And those of us that have been involved with Kanacha Farm for the last five years care enough. And we're hoping to get more young people because all of us are, are old. <laughs> and if we can find young people that really care about what's happening in the environment, you know, they say, um, think globally and act locally. Well, that's, we're giving people an opportunity to act locally here. And it may look like just a po postage stamp amount, but you have to begin. Um, how long a process is it? Well, we have a permit for three years, and we ex don't expect to be totally done until that like, three years are up. You could just picture the beautiful things you'd have here. A bench, handicap fishing, you could do all sorts of things with this. We do one chunk at a time, and this is our first project here.